Pavlo Shilko is the Ukrainian spokesperson for this year's Eurovision Song Contest in Kyiv. You might know Pavlo or Pasha from the 2005 contest when he presented the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the hosts of Eurovision Song Contest 2005, Maria Yevrosina and Pavlo Shilko. Pasha has a lot of experience when it comes to the Eurovision Song Contest, from hosting the show to working with Verka Sadutska. Everything started back in 2003 when Ukraine first participated in Eurovision. I was consultant and uh, for Alexander Panamerov, our first ever entry. And I was also the commentator for, for, for the channel. Then in 2004, uh, I was the guy who was uh, announcing the results from Ukraine. And finally, 12 points from Ukraine go to Serbia and Montenegro. Serbia, Montenegro, 12 points. And then it just happened that they asked me to be the host and at the same time uh, to write the script for your vision, so which I did both back at that time. So, yeah, it was something very special I will remember forever. Welcome, 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 welcome to Ukraine! Bonsoir! Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs! Soyez les bienvenus en Ukraine! Good evening! Do you have a particular moment that stands out in your memory? I guess it's the grand final when you, when Masha, my co-host and myself, we went on the stage. And when you feel that like adrenaline is like coming, I mean, it, it just, ah, this emotions that you feel that it's not only, you know, 12,000 people watch, watching you here, but also like over 100 million watching you all over Europe. It's just something, um, you know, something very very special that I can remember like every beat of a second of that moment when we just came on the stage. Hello Pablo, how are you there? I am fantastic Maria, hi. It's a great atmosphere here in the green room. Green room, everybody! After the contest in 2005, Pasha was involved again in the two contests after, this time as songwriter. My first Euro Eurovision experience as a songwriter was back in 2006 when I did the song together with Misha Nikrasov. We did the song for Tina Carroll, which was Show Me Your Love. And then the following year was the uh, one of the most exciting Eurovision experiences I've ever had. A very good friend of mine, Andrei Danilka, who also is known as Verka Serduchka, asked me to help to be a consultant and he's even like personal interpreter because you know translating his funny language you have to know you have to know him pretty well and uh, at the same time he asked me to write the lyrics i did the first draft then he recorded it and it was just not really funny and then we decided we need to change something so actually what happened is like uh, he remembered some German funny words. I go, okay, let's do this kind of, you know, this simple stuff. And I'll come up with some other funny English words for you so that it would fit to the image of Verka Serdushka. So as a result, uh, Ukraine became number two. It was very close to be number one. Dear Eurovision fans and everybody who loves music and fun, very much welcome to Ukraine. See you in May. You're going to enjoy it. I'm sure it's going to be one of the best Eurovision Song Contest ever. Okay, hit the end.